This is Umar from Box Nation, live on TNT Sports this Saturday night from Birmingham. Almost hometown for Nathan Heaney, uh, but he's going to be bringing what two thousand down from Stoke. Yeah, over two thousand. So yeah, it's um, like like everyone who says it's like nearly home. It's always an hour away from Stoke, so my guys always have to travel an hour. Whether it's Manchester, Birmingham, Telford, it's always an hour away. So my guys always have to travel a little bit. Should have mentioned as well, defending his British title for the first time. Um, there's a lot of people in this room, a lot of people in boxing, who'd have thought. You never say those words with Nathan Heaney, but you proved everyone wrong, Nathan. Well, yeah, well, yeah, there was him. It, like, I, th I remember an interview with me and you when I boxed behind closed doors, and, and there was a tweet that put out that Denzel Bentley said he'd never understand when, why a fight wouldn't move their head. And then you read that out to me, and I remember at the time thinking, well, he's, Denzel Bentley's probably right, so I probably do need to move my head a little bit more. And then fast forward four years or three years, I moved my head much more, and it, and it worked in my favour. So, yeah, it's, um, yeah, it, a lot of people didn't, didn't, didn't believe that I'd, I'd do that, but Steve believed I certainly would. And, I, and as it went on, as the weeks went on, I believed I was going to do that as well. Actually, you touched upon Steve in the press conference, and I remember straight after the fight with Denzel Bentley, you were quick to mention him. And obviously, the credit has to go to yourself. You're the one getting in the ring and producing. But you do always mention your coach, Steve. How much of a... A critical part has he been in this journey so far? Uh, uh, the, the most critical part. Like, the, the, there's a reason why I mentioned two people. That's me supporters and that's Steve. Because without either of those two, I'd be absolutely nothing in terms of being a boxer. Because, listen, you have your own little things here and there, but, but Steve's the one that keeps me on track. And, and I'd love nothing more than... And I like saying about Steve as well, because if he's turned me into a British champion, and if I defend this, this British title successfully on Saturday, he potentially could turn me into a world title challenger. And if he can do that with me... Well, imagine someone who, who, who is perceived to have great talent. What can he do with them? Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I, Steve deserves a, lot, deserves a lot of credit because he's, he's made me where I am now. This was mentioned on the top table as well. That Stoke fight at the stadium hasn't happened yet. So every time you do get in the ring, there's jeopardy. But with Denzel, you were the underdog. No one expected you to do anything. So it's different. Here, it's like it's been a complete role reversal. You've got Brad Pauls, who's basically in your situation. And there is jeopardy in this fight for yourself. Yeah, there's always je but there's jeopardy in any single person that you fight. I mean, I saw, I saw a local lad the other day. He lost to like a 2-0 and o lad. It should have been a run out for him. Like, you just can't take your eye off the ball in this, in this sport because... It, yeah, like you say, that, that hurdle, you can be you can fall over it straight away. But in regards to like odds and all that kind of stuff, it means nothing. All it, all that I have some all that matters. Have I prepared correctly? And is he prepared correctly? And then on the night, whoever the better boxer is will win. Ultimately, why will you beat Brad Pauls? <laughs> just because I'll, I'll just I'll listen to Steve, and, that, and that's it. That's all I can say. I will listen to Steve, and then and then and then I'll say bloody I'll see if you're right, and that's it. Again, give some, give again. some, give some credit to yourself, Nathan. Yeah, no, yeah. No, obviously, I, I have to apply what Steve says. But, but we've got, we've got little things here and there. Like if something doesn't work, well, we can always fall back on other things. So, Steve covers a lot of bases, and obviously, I'd like to say it's me that's got to do it in there. But, but we work together really, really well. How much honour and pride do you take in defending this British title as well on Saturday? Yeah, massive pride. It's, it, it's like I say, to win it was was incredible, but to defend it and then move on to something potentially massive is, 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 is unmanageable. Unimaginable, if I said the word correctly. What, what is that massive thing then? Is it a fight with Janabek? Is it just a world title shot in general? Well, I think the, by the looks of it, uh, Shiraz is going to be fighting Janabek. By the looks of it, that's why they're lining up for that. Up. But I don't know. I don't know what, what the plan is. But, but all it's got to do is just win on Saturday. How highly do you rate Hamza Shiraz? Because that, that could be a, a potential clash down the line as well. I, I rate him very highly. Like, like I said in the TNT Sports stuff before he went on, if Liam Williams was Liam Williams who was before, he'd give... Well, I thought it was going to be much tougher for Hamza Shiraz, but he just absolutely... He just did a great job against a very, very good fighter. So, yes, I rate him very highly. But that would be something special. If, if one of you and Hamza can bag a world title, oh, yeah. you two for a world title oh, yeah. at Stoke. Yeah, the, the fact about it is we're both, we're both right up there in terms of, obviously, the profile that we've got in terms of boxing and, and obviously, I'm the British champion and whatever he's doing. And if one of us has got a world title, then, yeah, massive fight. Well, listen, Nathan, you've got business to attend to this Saturday night in Birmingham, so best of luck against Brad Pauls defending your British title and hopefully we'll speak after the fight. Yeah, Tom, thank you very much. Thank you, Nathan. Yeah, yeah.